Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen and amen. It's a wonderful, wonderful treasure. Glory to God. Amen. Ezekiel chapter number 34. The book of Ezekiel chapter number 34. Glory to God. Uh, as you're opening your Bible to the book of Ezekiel, just tap your neighbor and tell them, did your disciple come to church? Well, what is their answer? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Did they say disciple? Did they say disciple? Do you, do you, the, the first question should have been, do you, do you have a disciple? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Right. Ezekiel chapter number 34. And uh, put up verse number 5. Uh, okay, okay, let's read from verse 1. Though I'm, right now I'm interested in uh, 5 and 6. But we'll come back to 1 and we'll come back to 1 2. Let's start with 5. Yeah, right now um, I want to save time. So let's go to 5 and 6. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 5 and verse 6. Give me the NKJV. Okay, are we together? So uh, we are talking about discipleship, glory to God. We are talking about discipleship and hopefully today I'm concluding on discipleship. Last Sunday I wanted to conclude and uh, the discussion went elsewhere, glory to God. Yeah, but uh, it went elsewhere but in, 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 in a good way, glory to God, hallelujah. So today I'm not going to open up discussions, I'm going to, 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 to teach, glory to God, hallelujah. Yeah, so, and uh, I told you, I, I, in fact, I even told you what I was going to talk about. What was I going to talk about? Uh, why we need a shepherd. All right. I, I said being under a shepherd. Glory to God. Eh? Yeah, being under a shepherd. Now, there's a lot that I can talk about, but because I want to conclude with, uh, with this subject and we go to something else, uh, I'm just going to talk about two things. One, the dangers of not being under a shepherd. And then two, the benefits of being under a shepherd. Glory to God. As the Bible tells us, we're not just going to cook up things. Glory to God. The dangers of... Now, of course, one of the ways, if you, if you used to be in class, you know that when you have two opposite things, it just depends on the question. You can get the dangers by getting, you can, by, by getting the benefits and you just make them negative. Hallelujah. So if the danger is you will not eat food, that means the benefit is you will do what? You will eat food. Glory to God. So you will say, why, what? Anyway, let me, let me not try to remember S4. Glory to God. S4 work. Glory to God. Yeah, but we are going to look at uh, the dangers and the benefits. Now, here in the book of Ezekiel, God is complaining about uh, the shepherds of Israel. Glory to God. God complains about the shepherds of Israel. And uh, he talks about the things that they should have done for uh, his sheep, the children of Israel. Glory to God. Actually, let's, let's just read from verse 1. Glory to God. Let's read from verse 1 so that we get proper context. Put verse 1 and we read up to, we shall read up to verse 6. Let's read. Are we, are, can we all see at the front? Yeah, so let's, let's, let's get, uh, let's read together. One, two, three, let's go. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm. To the what? To the shepherds. So God, God is complaining about the shepherds. So we know that what, what we are talking about is actually shepherds and the work they are supposed to be doing. So God is going to tell us what he expected the shepherds to do, but they didn't do. Are we together? All right, uh -huh, let's continue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Question mark. Uh-huh. 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 Verse number four. Uh-huh. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, ah, 
Say what a shepherd. This is a shepherd that makes God complain. You have not helped them, but you with cruelty, you are just hey. Say, tell your neighbor we don't have such a shepherd. Hallelujah. Neighbor <laughs> All right, let's go to, to verse five. Now, now listen. Like I told you, you can get from this scripture, we are going to see a number of things that happen when the shepherds are not present. Are, are we together? We are going to see what exactly happens to the sheep because this is what the shepherd is supposed to be doing. So in the absence of the shepherd, this is what happens to the sheep. This is what happens to the what? To the flock. Now, it could be that the shepherd is not doing their work or that the sheep has decided to leave the shepherd. Either way, when there is no shepherd, this is what happens to the what? To the sheep. Glory to God. Now, I told, you, I told you I wanted to begin with verse number five because here, here there's a very, very big, big point here. Pay very close attention. Glory to God. Let's read together verse five and six. One, two, three. Shout it out loud. Verse five. Let's go. Uh-huh. They were scattered because there was no what? So when there is no shepherd, the sheep are what? Scattered. The sheep are scattered when there is no shepherd. Scatter means you to go and wander in far places that you don't know. And you find yourself in places that you don't even know how to come out from. Have you ever, have you ever got lost somewhere? Praise the Lord. I went to, I went to a certain place. I don't know. Praise the Lord. And I was like, 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 I was supposed to go somewhere. And then I found when the road is blocked. Then I took, I took a left turn. I was like, these cars that go here, they can't, the cars that were turning, I was like, they can't be going nowhere. Let me follow them. We shall find, I will reach where I know. As in a road, a road doesn't lead to nowhere. To gain there, to jatu kapaka we mani nengo berera. Ha, nengo berera. I turned, I turned, it turned, I turned, I turned. And meanwhile, all along, I was like, what should I stop and ask? Nengam, wah, I will go. And I, I followed. I went until finally, and it was a kind of a hill. I want to describe Mujatengera. Yo, glory to Kololo Kare, Kololo Kare. So uh, the car went up, uh, it, uh, healed those ends. I was falling. And, but when it was going up the hill, I was like, nah, ah, they know what you go and you then. the road can't lead nowhere. The road can't lead nowhere. It will lead where I know. Aganyabo. The road was leading nowhere. It went up to a gate. As in the road stopped on the gate like this, and soldiers came out. Hallelujah. That's when I knew I'd followed the wrong person. Praise the Lord. To a safe distance. Now, and the problem is now it was just by God's grace I even, I even don't remember the story in fact I don't even want to remember the story because it, was, it wasn't very good but you see you, I found myself in a place where even getting back to where I, as in I was just praying I was like I wish I can go back where I thought that I wish I can go back there because at least I knew where I was. But right now, I don't know where I am. Why? I wandered off, I wandered off. Thinking that I was going, thinking that I was very wise, thinking that I was, well, I'm very wise, praise the Lord, but in that regard, I, was, I, I acted foolishly. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Glory to God. Now you imagine, this is just called Kohane Kampala. You imagine now, you're, now the Bible is saying that when the sheep are scattered because there was no shepherd, a shepherd is the one that directs the, the, the sheep where to go and where not to go. And now the Bible is saying that without the shepherd, the sheep are scattered. Innocently, you be thinking, you know, you be thinking that I will turn back any time. I will go when Naraba, when Naba and Gabula, Nanchuka, Nemi, no, I will to man you, or get no water get and go, who's and go, who's it? The sheep are scattered. Hallelujah. Uh, let's read again. Let's begin from the, from, the, from the top. So, let's read one, two, three, go. Because as no shepherd. And they became food for the beasts of the field. In other words, 
My, my, my getting lost was safe eh, because no one was going to eat me. Glory to God. Yeah? But God is complaining and saying, because there were no shepherd, his sheep were scattered and they became food for the beasts. They became food for the wild animals. Ladies and gentlemen, there are wild animals out there. And when the sheep scatter away from the shepherd, the wild animals are going to... Listen, the wild animals can devour a sheep. Hallelujah. Now, of course, most times the sheep don't care about those things. They just, for them, they wonder. They be thinking, because they be thinking, I'm safe. Hallelujah. I shepherd. Because after all, what the shepherd does, I can also do. We took enough church to call it. But Pastor, some of us in Nigeria, I will, I will also read the Bible. What? Meanwhile, you wonder. And most times, when you're getting lost, you don't know that you're getting lost. It, it happens slowly by slowly. Before you know it, how many of you have heard of the, the boiling frog or boiling frog analogy? But it's about a boiling frog. Yeah? You know, you can tell us. Yeah? <laughs> you see, they say that I, I don't know how far true it is, but they say that a boiling frog, eh? yeah, you're imagining a boiling frog before it starts boiling, eh? that you get a frog because a frog is cold blooded. Yeah, now what happens is that cold blooded animals they do not have a standard temperature, they adjust their temperature according to the surrounding. When the way, for example, when it is when, when it is in water that is cold, it adjusts the body temperature to, to suit the cold water. When it comes out and it's hot, the body temperature adjusts. So it adjusts its temperature accordingly. Now they say, they say that when you get a frog and you put it in cold water, it will adjust its temperature to the cold water temperature. Now, when you start boiling that water, because the water is boiling, it gets started, starts heating up slowly. When it becomes hotter, the frog adjusts the temperature. To the, to the warm water. As it gets warmer, the frog keeps on adjusting. So all along it feels it is safe. Why? Because it's adjusting to the temperature of the surrounding. Not knowing that this water at some point is going to be too hot. So it keeps on adjusting its temperature. The water gets hotter as it adjusts. The water gets hotter as it adjusts. Now, by the time it realizes that wait, wait a minute, it is already too late. It is already too late. Glory to God. And you see, that, that's why they say that. You see that you can put a boiling, you can boil a frog and it doesn't run out of the water. Why? Because it keeps on adjusting the temperature until it is too late for it to run out. Now that's what happens. That you see, you go out there and you think you don't need a shepherd. But you see, the first, the first one day, two days, you are okay because you, you still, you're still running on some steam you had from church. You're still running on some steam you had with the shepherd. And then you, you adjust and it becomes okay. Two days, you, it is okay. You don't feel like you're a very bad person. You, still, you, you can still quote scripture. And well, three days, four days, five days, one month, two months. Before you know it, the people find you and they wonder what became of you. Meanwhile, it took, it took a, a long time, but gradual change was happening. And as the change was happening, you are also adjusting to it slowly by slowly. Before you know it, there is no difference between you and the wolf. Hallelujah. Amen. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And they became food for all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Guys, let me tell you this. Eh? Jesus said when he was sending us, eh? he said that I send you as sheep among what? Sheep among what? Let us answer all of us. Sheep among what? The correct answer is wolves. Sheep among what? Wolves. Wolves. Edric, Neda, Neda. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, what Jesus was literally saying, that outside there, there are wolves that are ready to devour us. Glory to God. Now, you can think that uh, these are lovely people, these are nice people, what? But Jesus is telling you that outside there, there are wolves ready to devour a sheep. And yes, we have work to do among the wolves, but they are wolves. And a sheep cannot survive amongst wolves without a shepherd. Let me say that again. A sheep cannot survive 
among wolves without a shepherd. It doesn't matter how brilliant the sheep feels he or thinks it is. Because you see, this is now, it's God telling us this. Now, some sheep think they are wiser than God to think that they can be lone sheep and survive amongst wolves. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. Ladies and gentlemen, it is what? Dangerous. It is dangerous. Guys, let me tell you, the, the world, there are evil people out there. There are evil people there. I was so shocked to find out that there are people out there who have, who have it as their purpose and their goal to get to, 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 spread, to spread HIV to born again. To born, it, I don't know why, because it, it's sad they are men. To born again girls. Someone is out there saying, No, you can't go and and as in, as in, he said openly. No, you wonder, as in, what kind of heart does that person have? What kind of heart? And when he comes, of course, again, glory to God. So he's going to come smiling. He's going to come what? And and because the wolf is going to come smiling. The wolf is going to come smiling. Praise the Lord. The goal. Guys, I'm telling you this, 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 this is not hypothetical. I'm telling you of what I know. That there are people out there. In fact, let me can I tell you something? You may, you may argue with this. There is even, it is not official, but I've heard of an organization. By organization, I mean a group of people who are actually funded to... Um, to, 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 to what? To flat. To flat with, but you know, flat, flatting, yeah, you, you can flat, but this one, they go beyond flatting even. To, to vibe, kwegamba, as in, they are looking out for born again girls and get them into whether, either, either HIV or get them pregnant or what. And can I tell you what? That these people are actually funded. Nga, they, they are funded, and their key result areas is how many Osudeba Meka. I, I know this for a fact. I know it's, it's, not, it's not here. So I know it for a fact. That they are funded. And the key result area, as in how, how well you've performed, how many girls, there are wolves out there, ladies and gentlemen. The problem is these wolves, they do not come wearing a hat that, you know, I am Mr. Wolf. They, they will come talking like sheep. They will come talking like nice men. They will come talking. Like, but their goal is to destroy you. Their goal is to destroy you. Yeah. And that is why. Let me tell you. That is why. That, that is why. No, and, and by the way. Let me also say this. They do not find the born again girls outside they actually come into the church. Yeah. They actually come where? They come into the church. Glory to God. Sister, sister, go with brother, he has church. And that is why, that, that, that is why uh, uh, part of the pastoral work uh, is actually to talk to couples that are going to get married. Why? Because there are some things. There are some things that you will not see when you're madly in love. When you're madly in what? When you're madly in love. There are some things that you will not see. There are some red flags. That, let me tell you that. Have you ever seen someone who's in love and they just don't see any red flag? Meanwhile, a red flag is just swinging in their face like this. In fact, a red flag is a Glory to God. Yeah. Why? Because the ship, let me tell you, the ship is so oblivious to the can, can I show you something? Let me show you, let me show you something in the scriptures about how, how sheep behave. Because one of the advantages is that why a sheep is safe with a shepherd is because the Bible insinuates that the shepherd sees the wolf coming. The shepherd sees the wolf what? The shepherd sees the wolf coming. And that, that is the role. John chapter number 10. Hallelujah. 
John chapter number what? Wow. John chapter number 10. Let me, let, let's, give me, give me, let's read from, uh, give me from verse 11. Let me show you this. Verse 11, let's read verse 11 up to verse 13. Eh? Are we together? Are we ready to read? Are we ready to read? All right, let's read. Now, one, two, three, let's read. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. A hireling, a hireling, a hireling is one that is hired, just hired to look after the sheep, but they are not a shepherd. The shepherd is looking after the sheep because the sheep belong to him. A hireling is one that has been hired for a salary. You get what I'm saying? Eh? Yeah, so they are a hireling. Huh? So, but let's read again. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. One does not own the sheep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And scatters them. And scatters them. You see, the Bible is contrasting. Verse, give me verse 14. Uh huh. Let's continue. Verse, the next verse. Uh huh. And does not care about the sheep. Give me verse 14. Let's read it. Uh -huh. Verse 14. I, am I know my sheep. I my Hallelujah. Let, let, let us first understand properly what Jesus is trying to say here. In this story of the shepherd, the hireling, and the, and the sheep, and the wolf. First of all, Jesus is trying to contrast between the shepherd that owns the sheep and the hireling that does not own the sheep. Are we together? Now, in this story, there are two, two people and two animals. Where, where are the two people? Okay, these are the two people. So who is who? You're the, <laughs> you're the shepherd. Okay, this is Martin is the hireling. Glory to God, all right? Martin is the what? So there are two people and two animals. Where are the two animals? Uh huh. So, which one is which? There is a sheep and a wolf. Hallelujah. <laughs> you are the wolf. Ah, yeah, alone the wolf. Hallelujah. Okay, fantastic. So, so we have a, a hireling. We have a shepherd. We have the sheep. We have the what? Jesus is saying that this this is what happens. Shepherd, so called, so so, so called hireling. Hallelujah. So sheep, sheep, you are going to or you are eating. Hallelujah. So this is the sheep. Kati, hireling, we are not student. We are not to do a But in the endigasi is there. Sheep we are not going to go to Hallelujah. Uh huh. Now hireling we are going to go to Nairobi. We just once in a while. We see glory to God. Chira ba. Hmm. Are you going to WhatsApp? What? So that that is the hireling. Now the Bible says that this is what happens when the wolf comes. Now the Bible says that wolf over a wolf over a over. Uh -huh. Now the Bible says that when the hireling sees the wolf, he runs away, he does aduka, and then he leaves the what? He leaves the sheep. And the and the wolf devours the what? The, the sheep. Are we together? Glory to God. I don't devour, don't devour. Glory to God. So that is scenario number one. Glory to God. Eh? So, hiring first, they are over to Jajira. Shepherd come. The Bible says, shepherd. Glory to God. Wolf, so called there. Now, the Bible says that the shepherd, the owner, in other words, the, the shepherd does the opposite of what the hiring what? Did. In other words, the shepherd will not run away when the wolf comes. He will take it on and protect the what? Wolf, Jango. Hallelujah. Shepherd, Kolomunimugo. Eh? Hey, uh -huh. And he protects all our wolf for what day. All our can say. Glory to God. But listen, listen, as we are doing this, eh, we have the wolf, we have the sheep, we have the hireling come. I want you to notice one thing, and this is the point that I'm trying to make. 
that ha, have you noticed that in everything we've done, we've seen the, sh the wolf, we've seen the shepherd, we've seen the herding. Have you noticed that the sheep is in its own world? Temanyi oba aliwo hiringi, temanyi oba aliwo shepherdi, temanyi oba wolf, temanyi as in all, in all that is happening, the wolf just, I mean the sheep just doesn't care. The sheep is just feeding. If, when the wolf approaches, they eat. If there's a shepherd, they protect it. No, but the, wolf, the sheep doesn't even know that the shepherd has protected it. Why? Because for it, it is eating. Glory to God. It is the responsibility of the shepherd to see that a wolf is coming. If the shepherd does not see that a wolf is coming, the sheep is not looking out. The sheep is only, the sheep is only looking for what is good for eating. The shepherd is one looking out for the wolf. It is the shepherd that sees the wolf coming. The sheep is, is, does not see the wolf. It is the shepherd that sees the wolf coming. The sheep doesn't even care. The sheep, can, the sheep cannot even tell the difference. Between, and that is why many times the sheep doesn't even appreciate the shepherd for stopping the wolf. Because it didn't even know that it was a wolf. How many of you know that? Do you remember the story? Of, but you can go back. Do you remember the story of, 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 of David? When, when he killed a lion. The lion came to devour the sheep. The Bible says David ran. In fact, in fact, the Bible says that the, the, the lion was running away with the what? With the, with the lamb. David ran after the lion and got the lamb out of the, the, the lion's mouth. How many of you think the lamb said thank you? Oh, boo, 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 Smith. I don't know how the sheep would say thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you. The sheep didn't even know that it was in trouble. It is the shepherd who saw that the sheep is in trouble and then went to deliver the sheep. The sheep, the sheep don't know that. They, they don't even know that David saved them from the bear and the lion. They don't know. Why? Because it is the shepherd that sees the wolf coming now. When there is no shepherd, the sheep is left alone with the wolf and the wolf is going to devour it. It's, imp it's very dangerous to be without a shepherd. It's very dangerous to wander off and you just go alone and you just be those things. Let, guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Can I tell you the truth? Eh? There are so many times that I look at someone, maybe in service here, or maybe in prayer service, or it doesn't matter, maybe even in the morning service, and just by looking at someone, God shows me certain things that are happening, and then I either tell them or I pray without even telling them. But how does it happen? When I see them, I'm going hey, Joan. And then God just shows me, but John, church gain a muscle. And then I pray for her. Or I don't even tell her, but God tells me, pray for her. But it happens when John has come in the fellowship and I see her. Now, when John is not around and she's not coming to church and she's not what, things will happen those ends. Now, of course, there are times that God can show me things about people that are not around, but those are rare cases. Those are rare cases. Are you still there? Because when they are not around, they are wondering those ends. Now, but if you are around here, there are many things that God will show me. Now, it may not even be praying for you. It may even just be giving you advice. Maybe just be telling you, as in just around. And you don't know that while that is happening, you're being protected from the wolf. You're being protected from that that wants to devour you. And sometimes it may not even be a direct word, but that says the Lord, God has told me to pray for you. Sometimes it may even just be a word that I am preaching, and then God speaks to you about something that you need to do, or something that you need not, you need not to do. And in that way, you are protected. On your own, without a shepherd, you will just be there, and the, let me tell you, the, and whether you like it or not, the wolf will come. You, you, it will come. And that is why you will end up being in so much trouble when you are away from church. You will end up being in so much trouble when you are away from the fellowship of brethren. It, let me, I'm telling you, you think, you, like I told you, but when I was getting off the road, I thought, ah, let me, let me use, uh, let me follow this car, I will find. But by the time I was lost, I started wishing that I was back where I started. Yeah, 
So when the devil is convincing you to leave church, when the, court, when the devil is convincing you, right, the devil will be telling you that things are very bad. But let me tell you, where you will end up when you're away from a shepherd is much worse than where you are when you're leaving church. Are you listening to me, ladies and gentlemen? The shepherd sees, listen, it is the shepherd's responsibility to see the wolf coming. God has ordained it that the shepherd will see the wolf coming. You, you, write it down, say, 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 the shepherd sees the wolf coming. You say it, the shepherd sees the wolf coming. Yeah, the shepherd sees the wolf coming. And interestingly also, interestingly also, can I, like, can I also tell you, even just like the shepherd sees the wolf coming, the wolf also sees the presence of the shepherd. Just so there are certain wolves that will not come just because the shepherd is around. Give me Acts, let me show you. Acts chapter 20, where Paul was leaving Ephesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Acts chapter number 20, give it to me. This is Paul. Give me verse 29. Verse 29, Paul was, uh, was talking to, uh, was in e e e Ephesus and he was about to depart. And this is what he told them in verse 29. I want you to, not, to, to, to note this. Verse 29, Paul tells them, uh -huh. let's read together. One, two, three, let's go. One, aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. 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 This is Paul. He was saying that I know this for a fact. That after my departure, savage wolves, not, not humble ones, savage wolves are going to come in. But I want you to ask yourself, why are they coming in after his departure? He's saying that after my departure, savage wolves will come. That means as long as he is around, these wolves cannot come. Are we together? He's saying that as long as I'm around, these wolves cannot come. But when I depart, when I depart like this, these savage wolves are going to come and they will not spare the flock. So that means, just like the shepherd sees the wolf coming, even the wolves can know that there's a shepherd. The wolves see the presence of the shepherd and they stay away. But once they know that the shepherd has departed, or the sheep has departed from the shepherd, the wolves are going to come. They are savage and they will devour the sheep. Let me tell you, I have seen, I have seen in, in my time as a pastor, I have seen sheep being enticed by wolves. As in wolves that I know for, for a fact that are wolves. Nganga brother Mumani Wolf Wolf from Uganda Chichi. Hallelujah. Guina, Guina, Guina Saint, Musege, Guina Saint, no sang, no sang of a sister and governor mu church, Baka and Musegum. Then, oh, sister Muna Wangura, Nandate, the first have brought him. My... <laughs> and I'm telling you, the things I'm telling you are true stories. Glory to God. Glory to God. Kacha Unorio Kosaba wisdom, wisdom from God. Lord, how do I save this, my daughter? This, my daughter, Guna Musegeva Zeba Libombi. No, you know what? Because you know some of these things, eh, they, they, it's a matter of time. for long. Glory to God. So you tell them because they, these people came to me and they told me they had just met, they had dated for two weeks, and in the next three they want to marry. Well, I think it was it was I've exaggerated a bit. I think it was like a month. They are dated for a month. No, not dated. They had met one month ago. So, from the time they met up to this period, they were talking to me was about one month. But brother, 
Nengamba sister, you know what? Ebi ntunga mubi papiza, ngamu wangu yenyo. You know these things usually. Bieta gane tuwala muo obude, you know? Let's first, so please put off whatever. Let's first, hmm, kumanga tini mune mumbi. Sister nga gamba, gamba nga ya gamba sala, bajizemu. Nsabye sala mukama jizemu, ate wa idile vichi. I advise them. I've told you the story before, many of you know it. Yeah. I, and they the bargain the client pastor even to be a wisa wisa. They stopped coming because no counseling was supposed to have counseling. We should be na to gendo gendo kuda mo kula ba ngali bari social media. Praise the Lord. So and so introduces so and so. If you find any ngabi be just be be duka ku social media ni ngamba yesu wange. Sad story. And they married each other. They married each other. And their marriage lasted exactly two months. Two, one, two. And the sister now come out. Pastor, this guy in the Sichamu Tegera, after two months, the guy Sichamu Tegera, and the wife Sichamu Tegera, and the guy Sichamu Tegera, and the guy Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Savage wolves. Savage wolves. Now, of course, they, I, I give that example, but the, the wolves, it's, it's not only in the area of marriage. Because you may say that the sinonya wakwasa, but savage wolves, there are people who are out there just to make sure that you, 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 you do, do, do you know what they call, it's not that you lose your salvation per se, but you, you just become cold for the things of God. You just become cold. Have you ever seen a person who used to be on fire for God? And as in, and then the, after a while, in the church, and then you go to 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 church, and yet, as in, there, there are wolves out there, and they are just to give you other alternatives, entertain, alter, alternative entertainment, where we come on Friday to pray, and you think, uh, you Friday prayer meeting, which is, what? Friday, all of a sudden, Friday you have plots, and you're like, I trust you what that. What's what? Glory to God. Amen. Slowly by slowly, like a boiling frog, you don't realize that you're losing touch. You don't realize that you're growing cold. You don't realize. Mpola, 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 mpola. You no longer, you no longer attend the prayer meetings. You no longer what? Then before, and you see, it, it, you know, there's, there's no vacuum. Where there was a prayer meeting, you know, we used to come for prayer service. Then you stopped coming for prayer service. And then after that, that time doesn't remain empty. The devil introduces something to do during that time. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, but on Friday evenings, this is when we go for our, uh, like what? Obi get together. Do you know Obi? You see connections. They say that your, your, net, your network is your net worth. Hallelujah. So this is when we network. Where are they networking? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. The sheep scatter when, they, when there is no shepherd. When the sheep is away from the shepherd, savage wolves will come and they will divide. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a very huge danger of being away from the shepherd. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't give a glory to God. And uh, number two, I'm just going to talk about two or three, and I'll, I'll leave it at there. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. Uh, let's, read, let's read again. Let's read again. Put, put one to four again. Ezekiel. So, number one. The, one of the big dangers of not being under a shepherd is that you will become food for the what? Wild beasts, wild animals. All right, verse. Go back, go back to verse one. Let's start from verse one. Mm -hmm. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, verse two, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God to the shepherds, Woe unto the shepherds of Israel who feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed the flocks? Glory to God. Amen. In other words, one of the responsibilities of the shepherd is to feed the flock. So when the sheep is away from the shepherd, the sheep will not be fed. I mean, that's obvious, not so. That when you're away from the shepherd, you will not be fed. And let me tell you, the shepherd has been given the responsibility of feeding the sheep and also the resource, the necessary food that the sheep needs. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the food that, and by the by food here, we're not talking about natural food. We're talking about the word with knowledge and understanding. 
Glory to God. The kind of food that you need to fulfill your destiny is in the shepherd that God has given you. That is why God did not even leave you to choose your own shepherd. The Bible says that he gave you shepherd. He gives us shepherd he, that will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Put it up for me, Jeremiah 3.15. So God, even, God does not even allow you to choose your own shepherd. Why? Because he knows what you need and he knows which person has what you need. I will give you shepherds according to my heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the knowledge and understanding that you need to fulfill your destiny is in the shepherd that God has given you. So sit down and be fed. When you go away from the shepherd, you will wander off. You will not be fed. Your destiny will be in trouble. It may seem interesting away from the shepherd. It may seem as if it is more fun. It may seem as if it is what? But your destiny is dying. Because God has put what you need in your shepherd. That is why it is not very difficult to identify who your shepherd is. Why? Because they have what you need. When they speak, they have the words that come out of their mouth. You know the words are spirit. Glory to God. Jesus said the words I speak are not their, their spirit and they are what? So the words that come out, they are spirit. But they come out with a wavelength that connects with your spirit. And that is why when your shepherd is talking, they don't have to struggle before you're blessed and encouraged. Are you listening to me? Have you ever wondered why there are many other people, many other men and women of God who can talk and talk and what they are saying are good things, but somehow you are, you are unmoved. And then another person comes and they say they are ex the exact things. In fact, but already somehow it's like they are speaking direct to your spirit. The words come out with a, in, at a certain, with a Kanjita wavelength. What is wavelength in Uganda? Okay, in ordinary English. With the what? Frequency. The frequency of their speech. Listen, listen, I'll, I'll tell you. I, there's, a, there's, a, there's a certain gentleman who told me that, Pastor, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. When you speak, they said, it doesn't matter what you're saying. It doesn't matter what you say. That sometimes, and he was saying that he listens on radio, and he says that even when you just say hallelujah, as in, I just feel my spirit quicker, man, I, I just feel like all the problems are running away from me just by hearing you saying hallelujah. Yeah, because there are some people who are not going to wait for me to quote many scriptures just by saying hallelujah. They, am I talking to somebody here? Hasn't it happened to you? As in somebody, that it just doesn't matter. They may not be quoting so many scriptures, but when they speak, they minister to you directly. Why? Because God has put what, they, what you need in, them, in their heart. They are giving you what exactly you need. Glory to God. Yeah. So I know, I know that the sheep that God has given me, I do not, and that is why in the Syria Miracle, I don't bless them. I know it's not because I'm not anointed. It's, it's probably their shepherd is different. But praise the Lord. Yeah. So if somebody doesn't feel that I'm their shepherd, I see one, I see one, I see one, I see Please go to the person where God, you feel God blesses you. Glory to God. But the ones that God has given me, see one and you, see one and you, Nicholas, what do you do? 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 Glory to God. Even after service, I don't just sit, I go, I greet people because you just don't know. Just there, there's someone, Eric here just tells me that your handshake, your handshake. And I don't know, because I know that there are just there are people whom I just touch. And just because I've touched them, now what I know about the service, I know what I know about the service. I know what I know about the service. They are revitalized and re energized for the entire week because I touched them. Glory to God. God, God wired it like that, that your shepherd has what you need. Your shepherd has what you need. So the moment you go away from your shepherd, no come and say, yeah, 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 yeah. let me tell you, listen, listen, and it doesn't matter. By the way, when they have what you need, it doesn't mean that every time they, they, they'll be saying things that excite you. Even the things that don't excite you, they are the ones that you need. Oh, yes. Sometimes, sometimes the pastor across the street may be more exciting. But if they are not your shepherd, 
They are not your shepherd. You won't go very far with them. And that is why it is important that you identify who your shepherd is and you sit down and settle. Tula o karire. Tell your neighbor, Tula o karire. Yeah. You can't be running around. You can't be running around after the, 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 the next exciting pastor. Because people will come. A pastor will come who is exciting because probably they are very musical. And you get a chimuna yimba muna uriangwa yimba yimba bulunji. Gaya yimba no gende you. Katu wana gende you. The moment you go there, you will get used to his sing and it will stop striking you. Then another pastor will go around, start a church around there. Now for them, they are they kwe gamba prophesying and akuria ne njiviri ezukuri kumotwe. Hallelujah. No kama kangende you. No, again, but as you're settling, another one will come around the street and you get all zungu. Mama, mama, mama. I hold you down. Mama, mama. <laughs> so, when will you settle down to be fed by one shepherd? I, I remember the scripture I showed you in Ecclesiastes last, Ecclesiastes last, last, last Sunday. Well driven nails by one what? Well driven nails by one shepherd. You need to settle down. And feed from your shepherd. Feed from your shepherd. They have what you need. Feed. Now, of course, of course, someone says, "I can't pass a gamanti." To ina kuli disa ye ye ka to tu li ze kubala ye mama. Ye mama. Ye mama. Eh? No. Listen. First of all, I'm saying, if I'm your shepherd, I should be the primary source of your spiritual food. Praise the Lord. You see, it's like having a home. Eh? You, 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 there's a problem when you don't primarily feed from home. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Now, of course, we're not saying it is wrong to eat away from home. You can eat in a restaurant. You can eat at the neighbor's once in a while. That's very okay. It is healthy. But there's a problem when Monday you eat at the neighbor's. Tuesday you eat at the neighbor's. Wednesday you eat at the neighbor's. Thursday you eat at the neighbor's. Ngeeka oliayo kusata deruoka. We can no, no day one neighbor. Let me tell you, uh, you, you will not benefit from what is prepared at home. You will not benefit from what is in, from what is intended in the preparation of the food at home. Now remember, at the neighbors, they have not planned for you. But I guess we So Next time no one neighbor. Next time So you will grow up with a concoction of mixtures that are not balanced. Ngai waba neighbor toja yo, neno toja yo, atene eko wabade tulia yo, na yo toja yo. Kwe gama noba angolia wo, you are just a concoction of, of things you got from everywhere. Now the things are not necessarily bad, but they have not been programmed and purposed to a specific direction. Are you still there? And that is what happens when you're, today, you're listening to this pastor, you're, you're listening to their pastor, you're listening to their pastor, and it's okay, like I've said once in a while, but your major source of food should be your shepherd. Why? Because God has put what you need in your shepherd. God has put what you need in your shepherd. Not even wonder. Praise the Lord. Your shepherd, I'm your shepherd. If, if I'm your shepherd, the good thing, I don't think I make it very difficult. But let me say this, if I'm your shepherd, I should be your favorite preacher. Praise the Lord. I should be your favorite preacher. Glory to God. Oh, as in, you can't be the young and say, you, you struggle to listen to me. Nenga, you're saying you, I'm your shepherd. Nenga, you, you, you really struggle. Eh? Okay, I'm like, what's up? You say, what di? What's up? You say, what's up? You say, what's up? You say, now, of course, there will be times when I'll come with a tough message. The, the, yeah, the, those times will definitely be there. When I'll come with a tough message. Those are, and that is why it's good to be under a shepherd. Because when you're under a shepherd, you don't choose what you eat. The moment you get yourself out from a shepherd, you will be choosing what to eat. And when you're choosing what to eat, you'll only eat what you like. It's like getting these children, these young children, at your home. Did, uh, Eric, does your daughter choose what to eat at home? See, today, daddy, today, bafumben koko, hallelujah. It is chicken. If you, if you give your child to, the, the liberty to choose what they... Now, of course, once in a while, you can give them what they want. But it can't be that every day, you are on the other side. You are not on the other side. chips, chicken, chips, chicken, Monday to Sunday. Rotary day, chips, chicken, and ice cream. 
Ngayaga yali ice cream ye bakire ku ice cream ye talaba nsonga lwachi why why you see you tell them you see ice cream is not food what do you mean it's not food i eat it in my mouth no kut kutampuli ranzi kuse they, they don't understand so you you are the one who says you are going to eat these vegetables no comment but uh, <laughs> I'm sure, but they are not sweet. Yeah, but they are not sweet, but you need them. They are not sweet, but you do what? You need them. You see, the sheep cannot have the liberty of just choosing what. It's important that you're under a shepherd who will know that this is what you need. It may not be sweet, but you need it. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's very dangerous when you are not under a shepherd. You will not be fed. You will, have, you will have a semblance of spiritual growth which normally will be really excitement. Hmm? I've seen many young men who are overly excited and they interpret that for spiritual being very spiritual. Yet they are just overly what? Excited about. And, and you see the excitement is good eh? but you see it has to be balanced with other solid food. Are we together here? It has to be balanced with solid food. So number one, being away from a shepherd, what's the, what's the number one danger? We said you, you, you become food for what? For the, for the what? For the wild beasts. Number two, you will not be fed as you ought. You will not be fed as you what? You will not be fed as you ought. Number three. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hmm. Eh. Okay, let's read the scripture. Put, put, put that scripture back. Uh -huh. Son of man prophesied again the shepherds of Israel prophesied and said to them, Thus says the Lord to the shepherds, Who unto the shepherds of Israel who feed themselves should don't the shepherd feed the flocks? I have verse 3. Verse 3. You eat the fat and clothe yourself with the wool, you slaughter the fatlings, and, but you do not feed the flock. Uh -huh. So the, the, the shepherd ha, has a responsibility of feeding the flock. Number 4. Glory to God. The weak you have not strengthened. Glory to God. The weak you have not done what? The weak you have not strengthened. Another benefit or uh, another uh, benefit on one side and reverse becomes a danger of not being under a shepherd is that you will not have anyone to strengthen you. Have you found yourselves in moments of weakness when you just you need somebody to encourage you, when you need somebody to strengthen you, and there is no one to strengthen you? Have you found has anyone found themselves? Oh, you guys dropped from heaven to. You are telling moments strengthening, you need strengthening what? Hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible is saying that it is the responsibility of the shepherd to strengthen the sheep. In other words, without the shepherd, you will not be strengthened. You will not have strength. And, and this goes, this goes in, it relates into what I've been talking about. That you see, your shepherd is wired to communicate direct to you. And as in, your, 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 your shepherd doesn't have to do a lot to encourage you. Glory to God. Amen. As in, sometimes a shepherd can just, can just say, I've, 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 I've had people who have told me, Pastor, I was going through, the, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor. I came, I, was, I didn't know what to do. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. I didn't know what to do. And guess what? The person, the person says, Pastor, you did not even pray. Ngapagama, Pastor, you did not pray. You just, you just touched me and you said it is well. And just by a, a, a pastor, your pastor saying it is well, somehow their heart gets settled and they just know it is well. You ask them, why are you saying it is well? Because pastor said so. Praise the Lord. And you see, when they receive it like that as a sheep a, a receiving a word from a shepherd, it actually works for them. Why? Because the, the, the word of the pastor re, re, reignites strength in them. 
Just your pastor saying it is well. Your shepherd. Now, you are a sheep. You are alone away from the shepherd. Everyone is telling you. Everyone you are talking to, instead of encouraging you, they are just discouraging you. Everyone is just magnifying the issues that you are going through. Everyone is just making them bigger. The God is saying that when there is no shepherd, the sheep will not be strengthened. Depression. You find somebody as in sitting there, what, 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 but you know, and all they need, what they need is a word from the shepherd, but they are away from the shepherd. He says, the weak you have not strengthened. Let me tell you, let me tell you, you need the shepherd to strengthen you. Glory to God. You need, how many of you have been in a, I want, I want, don't put up your hand, I won't, I won't ask for your hands, but how many of you, you will put up the hand in your heart, hallelujah. How many of you have been in a situation where you, 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 things are going so bad? Things are going so bad. And even with the prayer, you know some things will not necessarily change in a moment, in a flash. But you see, pastor just talks to you. you get into Christian language. King James, King James, what? But somehow, you leave encouraged to go through the day, hallelujah. You live encouraged to go through the day. And then you come back the next day. Pastor Nadamu na yogera hao. Nadamu amanyi. Nadamu yao. Until I, I told you. Then. Gaba gagwa mo wega. If fellowship time ne tu. Kano day wa pastor. Na yogera. Na yogera bintu ntua. Wona. Na ujoku joku hao. But somehow. Nadamu amanyi. Praise the Lord. Ah. No genda. Gaba gagwa mo Saturday evening, Sunday ne tu. Kano kuma kuchachi. Pastor Nadamu na yogera. Kwigamba. And then you find yourself that you have, you have, the problem has not necessarily gone away in an instant, but you've just outlasted it. You, you get what I'm saying? Eh? As in, you just outlast the problem. And then, all of a sudden, you look back and I'm like, wait, you're, you're like, wait a minute, this no longer happens. How did you go through it? How did you go through it? The words of the shepherd. Yeah. Are you listening to me? The words of the shepherd. I told you, I told you that, I told you that, that, that testimony. It's very far back, but it, I've never forgotten it. The guy who came and told me that, Pastor, my problems didn't go away. But the testimony I have is that, Namarako, year after year, Nganzija, no yogera. I get so encouraged. By then, we still have Bible study on Fridays. I come on Friday, and you talk. By the time you're done talking, I'm so encouraged and lifted up. I go. We turn the kind together. We took it out Wednesday, Thursday, and turn this okugwa mwa mani bichi. Now I just thank God Friday very kumpi. Friday ne tuka no zidamu. We go mangalinga, alinga kabaluni akaja Friday ne kapi 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 kafuru manga kajude. Nenga kari kaka katu ne kanya nanga bika kanya nde kanya nde. Ebe di kumpi kugwa ko Friday na jana nkoma one zidamu ne nji pika we. And he went on January up to December. And he, by the time he was testifying, the challenge was not around, but he could not trace the day when it went away. He's just saying, he just said that, I just realized that the things that were disturbing me were no longer disturbing me, as in, I just outlasted them. How, how, was, how was that possible? Every Friday I used to come and listen to you talk, and I would be encouraged, I would be strengthened. Just to go, one, as in, he would get strength for just one week. Gaba gagwa muwe gatinga komyeo. Netudamu netupika, glory to God, you are more than a conqueror. Ichibyo nanadamu, and he goes away. One week na komo. Now you imagine, he was, one week, na uriyanga afunye chima na agamba, sit down, zikasaba, and peace and zijudi. Ojaku gwera muwe without anyone to strengthen you. And then you start questioning God, but how come these things, but how come God, but how come God? Why? It is because there is no shepherd to strengthen you. He's saying the weak you have not strengthened. You need a shepherd to strengthen you. You need a shepherd to, stre you need a shepherd to strengthen you. When you're going through difficult times. God, there's that, uh, listen, your shepherd has been wired in such a way that they won't have to say so many words uh, bef before your heart is lifted. I've told you, your shepherd, you can go to places and they cancel you and they talk what with you, what with you, they talk for two hours, no longer, you're not the same. Your shepherd will just say it is well and you will go with strengthened. You, they, your shepherd will just say don't worry, have no fear, it is well. That alone will lift you up and strengthen you. He's saying the weak you have not strengthened. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very dangerous to be away from the shepherd. 
Why? Because you need to be strengthened. Otherwise, those are the problems. You a small problem comes like this, but because you you are away from the shepherd, the devil starts magnifying it. You start you start thinking about it. You start meditating about. It. Before you know it, you 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 on the boundary of depression. Before you know it, you've entered depression. And then you, you find people saying, I am depressed, I am depressed. Why? Because you allowed a problem that you could be strengthened out of to eat you up and you meditate on it and it grows and you, because there is no one to speak to you. Tap your neighbor and tell them you need a shepherd. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of time, I'll stop here. I thought I would finish this today, but again, I've not finished. How do, I, how do you know that I've not finished? You don't know it. Ah, oh, but I've finished. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah, but there's the, I think there's more than the there's more to share than the time will allow us today. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to pray for you. Stand up on your feet. I want to pray for you that no matter what the devil does, he will not succeed in getting you away from the shepherd because the shepherd sees the wolf coming. Hallelujah. The shepherd sees the wolf. Somebody said the shepherd sees the wolf coming. Yeah, and it is the responsibility of the shepherd to protect you from the wolf. So do not find yourself detached from the shepherd. Hallelujah. Do not find yourself, don't let the devil deceive you in anything. Like we saw last Sunday, the devil will try to cause havoc, the devil will try to cause offense, the devil will try to do anything to, to move you away from the shepherd. Do not let the devil deceive you. You need to be connected to a shepherd. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you and we bless you, Lord, for the word that we've had today. Thank you, Lord, because you desire the best for us. And that is why you give us shepherds after your own heart. Father, I thank you because you've given us shepherds after your own heart, Lord. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that we shall not wander away from the shepherd that you've given us, Lord. That we shall be settled and planted in the place where you want us to be. A place where we shall be protected from the wolves and the wild beasts, Lord. A place where we shall be fed with knowledge and understanding. A place where we shall be fed, Lord, as you desire us to be fed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that we shall be planted in the place where we are strengthened when we are weak. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you in Jesus' mighty name. For every ship that you've placed under my care, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name, Lord. That you will give me the ability to look after the ship because they are precious to you. They are precious to you, Lord. I thank you for the grace, Lord. I pray, Lord, that I will not be like the shepherds that you are complaining about in the scriptures. That I will feed the flock that you've trusted me with, Lord. I will feed them with knowledge and understanding. I will protect them from the wild beasts. I will protect them from the wolves. I will, I will strengthen them when they are weak. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for that grace. And Lord, I also pray for the sheep that you've placed under my care. That they will not wander off. They will not wander away, Lord. That they will, play, they will stay in the designated place where they will be fed, protected, and cared for. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you. Because, Lord, under the sheep, we shall not lack any good thing. I mean under the shepherd. Under the shepherd we shall not lack any good thing. Everything that you prepared for us Lord. We shall attain and walk in. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you in Jesus mighty name. That whatever it is that you are going through. The Lord will deliver you from it. In Jesus mighty name. I pray for those of you that are weak. And are in need of strength. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be strengthened, be encouraged, for the Lord has not forsaken you. The Lord has not forsaken you. The Lord has not forsaken. Be encouraged in Jesus' mighty name. I declare as your shepherd that it is well. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that it is well with you. It is well with you. It is well with you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter the current circumstances. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that it is well with you you will live to fulfill your destiny in the name of the lord jesus you will live a fulfilled life in jesus mighty name father in the name of jesus i thank you for these that you have placed under my care i pray for you in law in jesus mighty name that no wolf no wolf will have the opportunity to devour you
No wolf will successfully devour you in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will be well protected. You will be well guarded in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will be well taken care of in Jesus' mighty name. I pray in Jesus' mighty name that your hearing will be unblocked. That you will always hear the voice of the shepherd. You will always hear the voice of the shepherd resounding in Jesus' mighty name. Telling you where to go and where not to go. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will always hear the voice of the shepherd in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are well protected in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless you. And right now in Jesus' mighty name, I declare the blessing of God upon you even as we are closing today's service and going into the week. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you. May you see the hand of God working on your behalf. May everything that you touch prosper. May everything that you do succeed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May the works of your hands yield much fruit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare in Jesus mighty name. You will not, be, you will not fall prey to any trap of the enemy. In Jesus mighty name. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You will shine forth this week. You will shine forth with the glory of God this week in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare that it is well with you it's in Jesus name. I declare that it is well with your families. I declare that it is well with your workplace. I declare that it is well with your business. I declare that it is well with your children. I declare that it is well with, el with everything that concerns you in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will have a testimony of God's goodness. You will have a testimony of the hand of the Lord working on your behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you see the evidence that God is indeed working in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, Amen. <laughs>